Climate change is the embracing issue of our time, and we can no longer ignore it. We know the facts. We know that it's humankind who is accelerating climate change and making life on this planet something different than it's ever been before. We know that humankind are the ones who are consumers on steroids, tearing up the earth. There's no sacred place anymore where we do not want to explore, tear up, and put more fossil fuels, more carbon into the air. In fact, we have reached the limit on the amount of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases that we put into the air. Some people say the economy and the environment are in conflict. They are not. Without a healthy Mother Earth, we do not have a healthy economy. They go together. And therefore, we have to come to terms with the fact that all, almost all the scientists who know anything about this matter are telling us we are at a critical turning point in humankind's history. We have to care about climate change because our activities are changing the very life and the life possibilities on Mother Earth. Now, I like to come at this issue not out of guilt, but out of gratitude. We live on a beautiful, beautiful uh, earthly home. When I took my uh, grandchildren camping on Manitoulin Island one year, my three-year-old, or three years old at that time, granddaughter uh, said this when she came out onto the rocks and greeted me as I was having my morning coffee overlooking Lake Huron, a beautiful morning. She says, hello, Grandpa, and I say, hi, Kate, how are you this morning? She threw open her arms, literally, and said, what a beautiful world. Yes, indeed, it is a beautiful world. And the world we are leaving to that little girl and her descendants is one that may not be as beautiful. It's as though we would go into a, an art gallery with a, with a knife and a, and a marker pen and slash and write all over the beautiful art. That's what we are doing to Mother Earth. So we come at this out of gratitude for the place in which we live and all that it gives us. I was involved in the Sacred Circle walk in, uh, in Peterborough at the beginning of May, where we heard from First Nations Aboriginal people from South America, from Northern Canada, East and West North America, who told us that Mother Earth is not just a figure of speech or a metaphor, it's the truth. The Earth is our mother and gives us life. There are many ways in which you can become involved. In fact, there's too much information out there in some ways. And that's good because there are millions of organizations all over the world who are waking up and taking action. In your own churches, you can encourage people to put on solar panels. When I was driving from uh, Toronto to Calgary uh, in the early summer, I went into Wawa, I was going down the main street of Wawa, and there I see this big church with solar panels on the roof. Sure enough, that was the United Church. There are ways, there are uh, resources that the United Church has on its website for worship, hymns, prayers, scriptures, sermon, uh, sermon possibilities, and so on. There are all kinds of organizations with whom we can team up to create community gardens, to create more awareness and action. And of course, I would encourage everybody to contact your member of parliament or the member of your legislative assembly or your town or city council because they need to know what you think about the future we are handing our grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Lastly, the main thing and fundamentally, I would encourage you to do something that says you love our earthly home.